Kandy Plesan, also known as the Plesan Complex, is one of the Buddhist temples located in Bugaisen Village, Prambanan District, Regency, Central Java, Indonesia, about a kilometer to the northwest of the renowned Hindu Prambanan Temple. Kandy Plesan covers an area of 2,000 square meters with an elevation of 148 meters above sea level. The Dangdik River is located nearby, about 200 meters away. Candy Plesan is surrounded by paddy fields along with vegetation such as banana and corn. Historical Background Plesan Temple was built in the mid-9th century by Sri Kailan or Pramodorpani, the daughter of Simuratanga, descendant of Sail and Ra dynasty, and who was married to Ra Thipekatan in the Hindu tradition. The Plausen complex currently comprises two Buddhist temples, Plausen Lore and Plausen Kittel, 234. The inscriptions and images of Plausen Lore and Kalisan have raised questions about the origins of complex and the relationships between the images found in the religious complexity of the area when the structures were created. 5678. The temples are separated by a road. Plausen Lore is located in the north and Plausen Kidal in the south. Plausen Lore consists of two main temples and an open area known as a mandapa. Both temples have an entrance, a gate, and a guardian statue known as Dwarapal. Plausen Lore and Plausen Kidal are considered to originally be one complex. Architecture Dwarapal, the giant guardian in front of Plausen Temple. The Plesen Temple complex is made up of 174 small buildings, 116 are stupas and 58 are shrines. Many of the buildings have inscriptions. Two of these inscriptions denote the temple as a gift of sanctuary by Rakai Bikatan. The dates of the inscriptions are between 825 to 850 AD. Although similar to the Prambanan 856 AD date, the complexes are not related. A new building technique distinguishes Prambanan from Plesan temples. The main temples at Plesan are made up of an upper and lower level, separated in three rooms. In the lower level, multiple statues resided. Today, only two statues of Bodhisattva seated on each sides of each rooms, flanked an empty pedestal. However, as the position of the false windows dictate, there was only one statue rested on the bottom basal level on central pedestal. This statue today is missing, it was probably some bronze statues depicting Buddha with two stone bodhisattva statues flanked it. Historians suggest that a main temple once contains nine statues, six stone bodhisattvas, and three bronze Buddhas, now missing. This means there was 18 statues resided in the twin main temples. On the upper walls and each room, there are the traces of stone inventions that once supported wooden beams and wooden floors, creating upper rooms. There is also traces of stones as the base of wooden stairs. Rows of exquisite carvings of Bodhisattva's divinities are found adorning the outer walls, with the majority of them being male. Smaller and less occurring carvings by the windows represent female figures. One exceptional example is carved on inner wall of the room depicting a representation of a Khmer prince which is identified by his crown. Plausen Temple is situated in Bugaisen village, Prambanan sub-district, Putin district, 1.5 kilometers to the east of Suu Temple. The temple is an ancient building compound comprising of two building complexes, Plausen Lor Temple Complex Lor is a Javanese word that means north and Plausen Kidal Temple Complex Kidal is a Javanese word for south. The relief sculptures seen at the compound are fine and detailed, similar to sculptures found at Bora Badur, Suu, and Sori temples. Experts claim that Plausen Temple, a Buddhist shrine, was built during the era of modern Hindu kingdom, when Ra Thipikatan was at the helm, at the dawn of the 9th century. The Kasparis, one of the proponents of the claim, based his viewpoint on the inscription on Creek and Illumination Stone, 842 AD. 
The inscription stone states that Thousand Lord Temple was built by Queen Sri Kailunan, with the support from her husband. The Caspries argued further that Sri Kailunan was a designation entitled to Pramodordini, the daughter of King Samaratanga of Sailendra dynasty. The princess, a Buddhist, married Rakhai Bekatan of Sanjaya dynasty, who was a Hindu. Other experts argue that Pelsen Temple was built before Rakhai Bekatan reigned. Angrani, a proponent of the claim, believed that Sri Kailunan, instead of a princess, was Rakhai Garang, the predecessor of Rakhai Bekatan, who once ruled Madhuram. The era of Rakhai Bekatan was too short to build a temple as big as Pelsen. Rakhai Bekatan, however, built the ancillary temple after the main temple was erected. In October 2003, an inscription bearing gold sheep was discovered in the surroundings of the Ninth Century Temple and Thousand Kibble Temple complex. It is estimated that the inscription was made in the 9th century and the sheep is 18.5 cm in length and 2.2 cm in width and the inscription is in Sanskrit written in old Javanese letters. Although the translation of the inscription has yet come to an end, Shijano Prasajo, the epigrapher who deciphers the inscription, believes that the inscriptions support the claim that Pausan Temple was built during Rakhai Bekatan era. Pausan Lore, North Pulisan Pausan Lore is a large complex of temples. On each of this compound sides, there is a couple of face-to-face Dwarapula statues, each in seated position on its right leg while the left one bended in front of the body. The right hand holds a cudgel, while the left one is on the left knee. The temple's north court, there are six big stupas and a rectangular stone terrace surrounded by rows of stone pedestals. The terrace is believed to be a place where offerings were given. It is assumed that there was once a wooden structure on the terrace and Dali Buddha statue on each of the stone pedestals. Similar but smaller terrace can be found to the south of the compound. In the center of this temple complex, there are two two-storied buildings that constitute the main temple. The two buildings face west, each surrounded by stone wall. The stone wall is encircled by 174 ancillary temples, consisting of 58 small shrines, each laid out on a square plan, and 116 stupas. These shrines are arranged in rows of seven south of the main temples, of 19 temples to the east or rear of the main temples, and 17 temples in front of the main temples. Nearly all of the temples have already crumbled. Pelsen 14A underscore Rifa dot to Pelsen 14B underscore Rifa dot JPG It is assumed that there was once a wooden structure on the terrace and Dani Buddha statue on each of the terrace can be found to the south of the Each of the main temples stands on a 60 centimeters high base that surrounds the temple's body. The stairs to the door have stone basters with statue of dragon head on each end. The door's frame is embellished with sculptures of flowers and climbing plants. The frame is topped by a sculpture of Kala head without its lower jaw and high relief. Along the outer wall is adorned with relief depicting man and woman in standing position at a size of real human figure. The wall of the South Temple carries relief of male figures, while that of the North. The South Temple was probably a monastery for Bhikkhus while the North one for Bhikkhunas. Pelsen Kibble Temple is located to the south of Pelsen Lore, separated by road. While the main temples of Pulis and Lore still stand firm, the counterpart in Pelsen Kibble have crumbled, leaving only a number of Kandy Purwara ancillary temples. Built around the same time as the larger Prambanan temple group, the Pelsen temples combine both Hindu and Buddhist religious symbols in their elaborate temple carving. Pelsen Lore, Pelsen North, comprises two restored, identical main temples, surrounded by some 126 small shrines and solid stupas, most of which are now just a jumble of stone. Pelsen Kittel, Pelsen South, has more stupas in the remnants of a temple, but little renovation work has been done. In Pelsen Lore, the two-story, 
three-room structures house impressive stone bodhisattvas and are decorated with intricately carved kala, dragon, heads above the many windows. Two giant Varapla temple guardian statues stand at the front of each main temple, notable for their unusual three-part design. This northeastern group of temples is three kilometers from the Prambanan complex. It can be reached on foot, or by bicycle or taxi, by taking the road north from the main gate, past Kandisu and then walking east for a boat.